Today I'm going to be showing you the new way to properly install a LUT into Premiere Pro so that it shows up in this little drop down menu in Lumetri Color. Let's go ahead and look at the correct file paths for Mac users and Windows users. Any of these file paths will work, with the key difference being that the ones on the top will cause your LUTs to not be usable by other users logged into your computer. I'm going to go ahead and choose this file path on the top right. So go ahead and navigate to your file explorer and let's start following along. So first we pick local disk C, then we go to users, then username, which is my name right here, and then we're going to go to app data. Now if app data doesn't show up for you, what you're going to want to do is hit view and then check the hidden items box, which will make it show up. So then we're going to go inside of app data. We're going to go roaming and then Adobe. So let's go ahead and find that right there. And then common. So right here and then go to LUTs and then what you're going to see when you come to this is the creative folder actually isn't going to be created yet. And so you'll only have the input and output folders in this directory. So you're going to have to right click, click new folder and then write creative. But as you can see, I've already done that. So I'm going to delete this and then you go inside the creative folder and that is where you paste your LUTs. So I just have two that I've created right here. And then what you need to do is also if you have Premiere Pro open already, uh, go ahead and close it out, restart it, and then check inside Lumetri Color and your LUTs should be available in this list every time you open up Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching guys, I hope this helped you out if you've been struggling to install LUTs into Premiere Pro. In the meantime, keep creating and I'll talk to you later.